Hey guys, let's talk about the X-Real Beam and play Marvel Contest of Champions on Asus ROG Ally but on a super massive screen using X-Real AR glasses. Also share my first impressions and by yourself opinion. Let's step back a bit. First go the things that X-Real AR glasses can and cannot do. It's standalone X-Real AR glasses could just connect to phones but not game consoles and Windows slash Linux PC. I mean you can connect to windows slash linux pc but you have to install nebula app and it's not very intuitive again that's a topic for another day quick disclaimer this is by no means a sponsored promotional video views thoughts and opinions expressed solely belong to me but anyone so coming back to the x real beam it basically bridges the gap and lets you play games straight from game consoles like asus rog ally nintendo switch ps5 xbox and watch over xreal air glasses on a colossal display over 100 plus inches in size and with no compromise on the refresh rate as it supports up to 120 hertz and you should be fine for most of the games and you know what uh, you might experience some lag on games like cod but for the most part you should be fine biggest selling points are that it is cross-platform works with almost any gaming consoles it's super compact and sleek compared to apple vision pro meta quest pro and whatnot you can even use it as a virtual desktop for increased productivity for your personal or professional works i must say i'm impressed xreal is for real some youtubers claimed xreal beam can cast up to 330 inches in wide for gaming but on the contrary i wasn't able to accomplish it instead you know i could do uh, like 100 inches or something so there might be a way to do it but i couldn't suss it out if you guys know how to do it drop a comment that way more people will benefit from it all right before we hook up the asus rog ally let's do a quick rundown of the outsides of the xreal beam all right so let's talk about the aesthetics it looks more like an ipod classic it got bunch of buttons to begin with it got central ok button up down right and left buttons back button blue colored volume buttons on the side the plus and minus yep on the other side it got red colored mode button with which you can adjust the screen mode like smooth slash flow mode and logged slash dogged mode at the very top you got power on button it also got the led light bar it has a built-in battery with up to 4870 mah it supports both wired and wireless connections it supports mirror Cast, Apple AirPlay, DLNA. As soon as you plug in XREL AR glasses into input USB C port of XREL Beam, it will automatically turn on by itself. If it doesn't, then go ahead and press and hold the power on button to fire it up. Make sure to put on the glasses. You should see a welcome screen and prompt you to connect to Wi Fi. Go ahead and do that. Once Wi Fi onboarding is done, it will check for updates and then download and install the updates for you automatically behind the scenes. Connect the other USB-C port to USB-C port of ASUS ROG Ally. Boom, that's it. You will now be able to watch the ASUS ROG Ally screen on the Xreal AR glasses. I am playing Marvel Contest of Champions and the video quality looks amazing. No lags, no dead zones, no flickerings whatsoever. You can max out the refresh rate all the way up to 120Hz. That's pretty awesome thanks to the new software update. I will drop a reddit link in the description below that walks you through step by step to crank up the refresh rate all the way up to 120 Hz. Xreal is working on building a whole lot of AR apps on top of Xreal Beam. Make sure to tune into future software updates and enjoy the latest and the greatest spatial display AR apps. Alright guys, moment of truth okay, keep it or toss it. It's definitely worth checking it out since it acts as a portable gaming monitor over Xreal AR glasses. Massive display size of over 100 inches and great refresh rate up to 120Hz. It's super compact and lightweight and fits easy peasy nice and tidy in your back pocket. And on top of that, Xreal keeps pushing cool new features through software updates on a regular basis. That's pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already yet. And also smash the like button. Really appreciate your support guys. Be kind and keep rocking. See you in the next one. Peace.